Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Anti Heroes in Exandria, or welcome for the first time if it's your first time joining us. I'm Kay, the Dungeon Master for this fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons show! <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but here we are. Uh, we've got some announcements as usual, but we're going to start out with player introductions. Nick, take it away. Hi, I'm Nick. I play Easter Selberg, the human Archfey Patron Warlock. I think we lost Ethan. Sorry, I lost I lost internet there for a second. Go um, Ethan. Hi, I'm Ethan yourself. and I play uh Zofdal Zephyrax. Uh you can call them Zof, and they are a Dragonborn Graviturgy wizard. Hi, I'm Zach and I play Bonks the Bugbear Barbarian. Hi, I'm Melissa and I play Angelica Jacobson, who is a Fearbog Circle of the Shepherd Druid. Well done, everyone. Uh, we premiere our episodes on YouTube Mondays, usually, at 7 p.m. Pacific, unless there's a holiday in which we forget that Mondays exist. Uh, then they come later in the week. <laughs> we are, tonight, resuming our side adventure, which is set in Exandria. We play music. You can hear selections from the Critical Role soundtrack, Welcome to Wildmount, or Welcome to Taldore. Uh, we also have some music from Incompetech tabletop audio or battle bards you can check the video description for links credits important resources and other information you can also follow us on co-host at anti-heroes last but not least we would love it if you enjoy the show and if you do if you could share it with your friends and keep coming back to watch more thanks and let's dive into the intro video Welcome back. Let's start off with a recap. During a race against Io's rival adventuring party at a festival in Jigao, the Quatrefoils followed a strange light to find the jewel of three prayers. Picking it up gave them a vision of a man named Elixian begging to be saved from the darkness. Both the Quatrefoils and Io's group are headed to the demon-plagued town of Bazozan in hopes of learning more. The road there has so far been littered with dangerous threats, but they've at last come to what seems like a safe place in the Emerald Loop Caravan Stop, which is a turning point on the road where hunters meet to trade their catches. The forest pathway opens into a large clearing, nearly a hundred feet across. Music, laughter, and the savory aromas of fresh-cooked food and wood smoke drift through the air. On the west side of the clearing stands a full-grown horizon back tortoise. On its back is the homestead of a family of goblins who are making repairs to the structure. On the other side of the clearing, seven covered wagons encircle a bonfire, and a rope fence has been set up north of this encampment to contain the wagon's oxen. Welcome to... The Emerald Loop Caravan Stop. Is there a gift Get shop? some music going. Is there a gift <laughs> shop? <laughs> uh, now you made me write shop instead of stop. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald Loop Caravan Shop. Um, there is no gift shop, but there are, there do look to be like a few merchant caravans that look like they're um, set up around the bonfire to do some uh, uh, trading. 
or selling, rather. Hey, Bonks. Are you hungry? Now that you mention it, I am quite hungry. It smells really good around here. Yeah, what, what does it smell like? It smells like food. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that? food. I just swapped you guys over to the oh, caravan there. stop. Okay. Yep. I will. So you should have the map of the place. Yeah, the um, the foods smells that you can the fresh cooked food that you can smell are is mostly meats and um, other such uh, camp camp food, meats and vegetables and such. Well, I think I'm going to head over. I'm going to follow my nose. Is anybody <laughs> else hungry? Yeah, I, I would love to eat something real. Yeah, let's go wherever it goes. Yeah, so um, in that case, you follow your noses to the bonfire at the center of camp. Um, and there is a drow woman in a rugged looking outfit um, standing over like a uh, standing over the fire she has got like a grill thing set up and she's got like steaks roasting and um, she looks like she's got like a pot there where she's like making um, rice and she's got some um, like what looks like deep red squash um, roasting on the grill as well um, and yeah, you walk up and approach, and she's like, Oh, some new faces. I never, uh, don't see many of those around here. How are you? At, at a caravan stop. Hmm, weird. Uh, <laughs> well, a lot of the smells... people that come through here are, are, you know, the hunters and the like. They make, make a habit of it. it. It smells really amazing. Do you have enough well, for us you. to partake? Can I buy... Meals? Of course. I, well, I imagine you've you've come for some of the best Mastodon Carundel to be found outside of Asarius. And this is where you get it. Hey, we heard about that. That sounds familiar. Oh yeah, yeah. that guy that guy told us, I think. Justice? Oh yeah. Sweet boy. Sweet boy. Here, I'll get you a bowl. She goes over and she Scoops some rice into some bowls and layers it with um, slabs of meat and um, the squash. And she hands you each a bowl. She says, eat up. It's on me. Happy to welcome you here to the caravan stop. <gasps> oh, that's very generous. Thank you. Yeah, thanks of much. Of course, of course. Um, oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> Yeah, and it's delicious. It's um, a little spicy, a little smoky. Um, basically, a rice bowl with with meat and squash-like vegetables. Um, the squash, I think, Zof would probably recognize it as Korun, um, which is grown in Rosona's Sunless Gardens. It's where the dish the, gets its name. The the Korun here is it's it's excellently done um i i only had it i think once or twice before um i visited rosona once when i was younger but yeah this is really good thank you thank you yeah keeps them coming back keeps them healthy and strong that's all i can ask for do you get it imported here from rosona i do it's the only place it grows i didn't actually know that yeah Yes. Mm. Well, it's very good. Thank you. Thank you. Such hospitality, right? Have you come from very far away? <laughs> yeah, we um, we walked here Eastern from. Uh, yeah, yeah, we walked here from uh, Jigao. Hmm. We get we get a few travelers from up that way. That is quite the walk. What six eight days? Yeah, tell me more about or less. It. But before that, we were in Uthadurn. Oh my. And before and that, 
we were in what was the name of that place? Cavalier Woods. And no, no, before that. Before that, I Isle Cross. Yeah, Isle Cross. That's, that's right. it. Isle Cross. Isle Cross. My word, that is quite a distance. That's a very desolate place. You must have had something really, really important bringing you out there. We had to secure Box Vault. I'm sorry? <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Don't and worry. It's... No, it, <laughs> we, we, we just had to save some lives. That's all. Oh, how very noble of you. Well, it's my pleasure to keep your bellies full then. If you're out there saving lives, the least I can do. So Angelica rummages through her rucksack and she brings out a handful of herbs that she got from the Feywild. Said, I, I, I just can't um, enjoy this delicious food without something in return. And she hands it to her. By the way, what's your name? I'm Angelica. I'm Gaia Ilaria. It's nice to meet you. And thank you. I've never seen herbs such as this before. You, you certainly have been to some strange places, haven't you? Well, you know, if you're such a good cook, you might be able to do something with these. I'm not exactly sure of their effects, so it might be fun. That I'm hoping fun it will be fun. Yes, indeed. Thank you very much. What a kind offer. Thank you. What a welcome the travelers get. Indeed. Can I ask, how how is there a f little forest here? We haven't seen a single, pretty much a single living plant the entire way. Oh, have you not heard the uh, the stories about no. this place? Didn't know anything about it until we met Justice. Well, she kind of gestures. Um, across the bonfire where you can see there are a couple of women um, kind of sitting what are they doing they're kind of sitting kind of a little bit separated from the bonfire um, kind of watching over everything um and you can see that there's kind of a small gathering of uh travelers around them um and they yeah and uh Gaia gestures to them and she says well um those are the acorn sisters over there and they they're the caretakers of the forest um, story is that there was once a, a great uh, tree ant creature named Wandering Oak who was able to seed this forest here. And then she entrusted it to the Acorn Sisters. Uh, it's my understanding that they've got the blessing of the Wild Mother. But I don't know much about that kind of thing. It's interesting. It might behoove you to go and, and speak to them, especially if you're curious. Uh, I know that, that many people who come, especially if the, those who are regulars here, will go and um, make an offering to them. Uh, food or drink or even a, a song or a story of their travels. Um, just to thank them for their hospitality, for opening up their, their forest to us. I think my mom would be really happy if I did, did such a thing. Of course, of course. And I'll have quite a story to tell her the next time I see her. I wonder if she actually met them. Hmm. Angelica, if you're, if you're going to go over there and say hello and, I don't know, offer a, a gift in greeting... Uh, I might have something that you could give them. Hold on, let me, and I'll just start going through my bag. Uh, and from one of my books that I've got in there, I will pull out some pressed pink petals that I've had in my inventory since the Savalier Wood. Oh, wow. Um, 
I cannot I think know, of a more like perfect these. gift. And it's from That's where amazing. you're from, so. Sure is. Oh, that's so sweet. Would you like to come with? Uh, sure, I guess so. Why not? Head over. Okay. Um, just reading all of my notes. Yeah, so you walk over and um, join the little crowd around the the acorn sisters who as you approach um it becomes clear to you that they are dryads similar very similar to the one that you fought in the savalier wood except not um corrupted they look very healthy and whole um one of them has a kind of darker barky colored skin and her hair is more like twigs coming straight up off of her head. Um, the other one has kind of very bushy, like green leafy hair. Um, and yeah, you walk up and, and they regard you uh, with curiosity and expectation in their eyes. Okay. Uh, greetings. And uh, uh, many blessings Blessings bestowed on you. My friend carried these for a long way from my homeland and thought that they would make the perfect gift for you. Ta-da! Ta -da. <laughs> I'll just do a little sheepish wave as Angelica makes the offering. Great. Okay. Um, yeah, so we'll have um, uh, one of them say the one with the bushy green hair um takes the petals from your hand and inspects them and she says these appear to be petals from a great tree not unlike the trees found here something I have not seen in many years. Thank you. This is a nice this is a very nice gift. You're welcome. Yes, they come from the Savalier Wood. Near uh, my yes. home. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if you heard of the corruption out there. Pause as I click through notes. So much. There's so much lore, you guys. Ah. Yes, you must be speaking of the Vel Veluthel forest. Yes. It used to be so grand and beautiful. It is a shame. Such a shame. It's been cleared and hopefully now it will become beautiful again. Well. I'm going to tell you this is a DM, but you cleared the corruption from the grove, but you did not save the Savalier Wood from its greater curse. That's something completely else. And you would know that. That's something else entirely. Okay. No. I thank you Any for your efforts. Well, if you are a friend is to nature, you are a friend to us and you are quite welcome here. Thank you. It's a beautiful oasis uh, and a pleasant respite on our journey. And I thank you very much. Of course. Our only rule here is that you be respectful of the wood. Well, of course. Please take only as much as you need, not more. That is all we ask. Of course, we'll comply. Then you are welcome. Okay, thank you all. I'll leave you to your other many followers. And take my leave. They Our leave. Kind of bow their heads to you. 
each. Well, that was awkward, so if I thought it would be a little different, <laughs> wasn't it? I don't think it was awkward. They were just formal. Formal, yeah. A little stuffy. <laughs> well, they're probably really old. I mean, I don't yeah. know how old dryads live. Are they, like, are they immortal? Do they live as long as elves? I I'm not sure, but... Well, their bark was not any worse than their bite, I guess. That's true. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's leaf. <laughs> uh, Everyone is shaking their heads. <laughs> Everyone. So, while you're here at the bonfire, there are several other people here, um, as well as... Um, there are two, two kind of gruff, muscular-looking bugbears who are kind of standing guard near the near the wagons. Um, there's a handful of Aurora Watch soldiers who are resting just to the north, um, but they seem to be like keeping an eye on things, making sure that uh, there's no problem. There's also are there any of the <clears throat> of the goblins around the campfire? Uh, the goblins are all around the uh, horizon back toward us. Kind of want to go talk to them. Sure. Um, yeah, but too. there's also, before you guys leave mm -hmm. um, the bonfire area, uh, Justice, the tiefling that you saved from the Moribounders, um, actually runs up to you. Um, he'd been resting there. With rice pudding, I was gonna um, rice and he rice recognizes, pudding. yeah, he recognizes <laughs> you, Easter, um, mm -hmm. especially. He's like, "Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! The quatrefoils, right? You saved me from the moorbounders the other day." Oh, I didn't see you there. Is this just, what's up? Hey, look. So I caught up with my caravan. They were fine. So oh, thank great. you. Thank you. Um, yeah, and I was, I, I told them what happened, and everybody was very grateful. Of course, they need their best trusty scout, um, and Rice Puddin' over here. Uh, you know, we're really, really grateful. Anyway, um, I'm not af able to af offer you any coin, per se, but I can offer you this. And he takes out a pair of what look like goggles, and he holds them out to you. Our third pair of goggles now? <laughs> Uh, like, yeah, I'll, I'll take them. I didn't, we we didn't see that coming. Popping these off for a while, and honestly, we've been having trouble selling them. So we're just happy to give them to you. You might be able to sell them elsewhere. But they might fetch a pretty price. Um, they look kind of like um, they're shaped. There's like a little like beak section almost that goes over the nose. It's like very bird like um, mm. shape around the eyes um, and the nose. Um, Bonks, you want to you want to try these on? Sure, Easter. I'll... How do I look? Sure. Um, you look great. Uh, yeah. Do you have dark vision, Bonks? Uh, well, let's find out. We should form a swim team. With Absolutely. all your goggles. <laughs> Where does it say <laughs> if one has dark vision? Yes, I have dark vision up to 60 feet. I see. Then you put them on and there's it does nothing. The goggles. They do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they look awesome. Oh, they okay. look awesome. They'll do a couple poses. <laughs> very fetching on you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I guess I've been told that they're supposed to, to help you see in the dark if you're not already inclined to do such things. Oh. Um, they've never worked for me either, but oh. uh, maybe you could find someone that might need them. I don't know. I can already see extremely well in the dark. Right. <laughs> Who, when, which of us can't? Yeah? And... Oh, look towards oh, Angie and be like, here, why don't you try them on? Okay. If not for fashion, maybe for the, the aid and thing in the dark. Yeah, so these are called Goggles of Night. You can add them to your inventory. Um, and they give you dark vision. 
Oh, oh I misspoke. Don't they also the, increase the... They increase the dark vision, yeah. I yeah. misread that earlier. So they actually would have, um, rather than oh. doing anything, you would you would have been able to see farther, but you weren't really standing in a dark area right now anyway. Okay. So. Yeah. But yeah, it would have extended uh, the dark right. Do you want to step back? It would give Bonks superior dark vision. It would. It would. You want them back, Bonks? Uh, depending on who looks better in them, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do, of like, course, a roll for Eric beauty. is gonna look the better. Best. I guess you get advantage then. <laughs> no, I don't care. You can have them. Funny. That's funny. Yeah, and they're like they're like bird. They're like naturey and stuff. So yeah, yeah. I think they fit Angelica quite well. Naturey. Yeah, yeah, now we can all we can all see in the dark now. Excellent. Goggles of night. Got it. <laughs> Some of us more superior than others, right, Easter? I don't like to brag. <laughs> <laughs> rolling, a, rolling, a, rolling a deception check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not very good at this. They don't need attunement, do they? Uh, do they? No, I don't. I don't believe they do. No. No. Oh, they look cool. Yeah. Like, like owlish. Yeah. All right. I got a 14 on insight. <laughs> I didn't actually. Make Who are you inciting? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. You don't have to. Oh, I rolled a natural one on my second oh, check. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Well, shall we go check out the horizon back? Yeah. You yeah. Can yeah. I want to see. I want to see who's weird enough to live on one of these things. Yeah. I definitely want to meet whoever's weird enough to live on one of these things. We stayed on the like back of one of these things, didn't we? Wasn't it in and Jigao on one? Or am we I misremembering didn't, we didn't that? Stay on one. Think... Yeah, yeah, it was on the Wait, back of one. Yep. Was it? Yeah, we totally stayed in the back on the back of one of these. What? I don't mm -hmm. remember that being established that that's that what was, it was. Yep, that was a thing. Wait. Yeah. Okay. I I guess I didn't say that then. <laughs> Wait, Jigao was. We the are the ones one crazy one? enough to stay on the back the, of one of these things. Not the entire Jigao, but the the inn that you uh -huh. stayed in, where the meat pies were being served, was on the back of a horizon back turret. I totally yeah. did not catch that. Okay, you're not yeah, the only see, one. Let's see who's crazy enough. <laughs> yeah, let's go. These no wonder right. we had trouble corralling these things. <laughs> I don't know which They're one of these massive. I want, but I feel like this might be the one that we want. Nope, oh that's boy. not the one we oh want. Oh no. <laughs> be this one. Alright. Something a little fun. <laughs> I remember this one. Um, yeah, so you go up to the big um, tortoise. And you see that uh, there are um, two adult goblins um, out front and two little kids just running around chasing each other. Um, yeah, one of the adults is kind of standing on the ground looking up and the other one is up like hammering planks back into place. Are they goblin grandpas? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, okay. they're mid maybe middle-aged okay. goblin people. Got it. Yeah. Um, and you approach and um, the one standing on the ground kind of looks up and sees your approach. He's like, Oh, I. How's it going? What can I do you for? Oh, we just came to say hello and meet your fine turtle. Hello. Oh, big yo yo. Yeah, yeah. she's a she's a fine little kinspadgy, isn't she? She who's a good girl. And she like scratches her chin and stuff. Like, really gets in there. <laughs> Does the tortoise respond? Like yeah, the tortoise is like a little bit more. Yeah, 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 yeah big yo yo. Aww. Just like really leans in and just goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. That's all I wanted. I actually can't see Ethan right now. 
camera got so Wait, dark. Let me get my goggles of night on. <laughs> Put on the goggles of night no, so we can see. They're my goggles of night. Let me grab we those from you really that. quick. Hang on. <laughs> I can put the light on myself, but then it's blinding me, and that's the problem. <laughs> so it's like either I'm blinded or my camera's dark. <laughs> One of the two. Let's just say you're rolling a perpetual stealth check against us. Anyway. And succeeding. Um, it's, the goblin says, "Well, uh, if you'd like to to give her some pets, you're you're welcome to do it. She's a real softy." If there will. Give it a try. Yeah, I'll also yeah. give her some pets. Roll animal handling. Oh no, I'm not gonna do it. Because when do we ever use that in the end? I'm gonna yeah. do it too. Too much in Jigao. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I rolled a 12, so it's a 12. I rolled a 13. 18. Oh, oh man. All right. Oh, yeah. This. You are all able to approach her without incident. Excellent. Cool. And give her all the scratches. So what? Uh, what brings you here? Well, we're currently on a trip, ain't we? Uh, we came from Arizona. We're heading to Asterius. Mm. Got to meet up with the bugbear side of the family. How about okay. you all? Oh, we're heading from Jiga out to Bazazan. Bazazan, that's rough country. So we've heard. You know, we've been... What, hmm? Go ahead. Oh, I was just say we've been on our feet for days, so it was real nice to see someone we could just kind of relax for, for a little bit. Oh, I this place is a nice, uh, nice, safe shelter from harsh environment of the uh, wastes, for sure. So, Kate, can you remind me? what the structure looks like because on the picture it looks like it's like a castle or like a keep or something <laughs> um yeah so it is there are some locations that i can describe for you okay um let me just figure out how to size my window so i can see everything at the same time that's a constant issue for me <laughs> I guess it would help if I could actually see here. Yeah, so toward the back of the tortoise, um, if you circle around the back, there is a ladder um, that leads up to platforms that are built onto the tortoise's back. Um, there are a couple different... There's like a hut in the back, too looks like yeah uh let me here two three four here up two three four there's a little hut here mm -hmm. um there's a central platform with a 30 foot watchtower here wow um there is a little what am i looking at like a little city <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There's like an archery tower over here. There is... Things like a battle palace. A little gazebo right? here. That looks like where they go to like relax and hang out. Oh my god. Um, and then the area here um, is another enclosed space. It's hard to tell. It's a room of some kind. Hard to tell from here. I really want to see like an Airbnb of this place. <laughs> Someone posting it. You can stay on our Horizon Back Tours. Yeah. I was just going to um, say, are these very expensive? What a cool <laughs> way to travel. Well, we built everything ourselves from the ground up. And it's a nice little moving homestead. We're pretty safe in it as we cross the dangers of the wastes. Yeah, yeah. Although it does need frequent repairs. <laughs> Needs maintenance all the time, which is what we're doing. Yuya you must be pretty patient to let you build on top of her cell. Oh, you know, well, that's what they're trained for. You know, these Kinspaji are, are uh, very good for this kind of thing. Yuya's especially uh, patient, gentle with us, and 
not gentle with anything that threatens us, and that's how we like it. <laughs> yeah. No Sylph is looking Smith, around man. at all the entrances into the clearing, and they're just narrowing their eyes, and they turn to these goblins and say, How did you get Guyo <laughs> into here anyways? Because every entrance into this clearing is only about ten feet wide, and this tortoise is massive. Uh, the goblin leans in Please towards you and you. wiggles wiggles his eyebrows. Just says, oh my gosh. wouldn't you like to know? You flew it. I would. You? I would like to know. <laughs> Very <laughs> carefully. Sophie just like, pulls out a book and is doing mathematics, <laughs> trying to figure this out. Well, if you look com carefully, you can see a lot of broken branches coming from that way. Gestures toward one of the paths in. And uh, you can see we need quite a few repairs. We didn't get here without incident, but we made it. Maybe Drive they can with... do a just density, too. <laughs> <laughs> what? The okay, Acorn okay. Sisters want to mad at you? Oh, no. They helped, you know, move oh. some stuff out of the way. Oh, okay. What Zof is not We always make a... Oh, uh, is uh, Yuya's jump distance of 500 feet. <laughs> Just jumps over. Yeah, exactly. You're right. I hadn't considered that. <laughs> <laughs> the running jump distance. <laughs> Can you imagine being on the back of that? <laughs> oh, God. Wee. Hold on. We've got to put your seatbelts on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lift off. Uh, would well, they let us, or, or Bonx, like, climb up the ladder and, like, look around and stuff, too? Oh, you want a tour? Yeah. Sure, sure. I'm sure the kiddos can can give you... Gothby! Little Gothby, come over here! One of the goblin kids runs over. Yes, Pops! Come on! These kids want a tour of the place. Treat them well, yeah? It's like, all right! Come on! We'll show you around. I'll let you pet Auntie Jalo will like to have visitors anyway. <laughs> Sorry, what? I'll let you pet my dragon afterward. Oh. Um, the kid's eyes sparkle and he looks at Pops. Like, can I? <laughs> Pops is like, go on. Gothby's like, all right, this way. Runs around to the back of the tortoise, climbs okay. up. Yeah, so he takes you through. He's like, this is... How we get up and down here. This is the up ladder. Climbs up. Um, and then she takes you through to the rear hut. This is where Auntie, Auntie Jaller and us sleep. And there's like a bunch of um, like little primitive toys and like straw dolls made out of straw and stuff scattered about. And they run through. To the center. Um, do you want to climb up to the top of the watchtower? Oh, yeah. Yeah! I climb all the way up. It's a big, kind of rickety ladder. But, yeah, from 30 feet tall, you're you're up pretty high at that point. It gives you a pretty good view of the caravan stuff. Mm -hmm. We like to spy on people from up here, but don't tell Pops. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Climbs down. Climbs down. Um, yeah, they'll take you around to the archery tower, which is also mm -hmm. a little bit ele elevated, not um, as much. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you get to the gazebo, which was over here, again, um, thank you. <laughs> uh, you see that lounging there is a um, very old but very elegant looking um, hobgoblin with uh, long silver hair, and she's wearing robes that are they're really deep green. There's the goblin. And she grandma. she looks up and she says, "Oh, do we have this little Gothby? Hello, hello, hello. It's nice to meet you. My name is Auntie Jaller. What can I do for you? Oh, we're just, we're just passing through, saying hi. Oh well." Don't let this old witch get in your way. You're a witch? Aye. 
Cool. Very small, small time, which I do just um, potion brewing, and I like to make tea. Oh, you should never find Angelica. She's oh, taking oh. for tea. Did, did Angelica come with us? Hey, Angelica, come here. Okay. You're like way better from the top yeah. of the gazebo. Yeah. Angelica, come here. Okay, be right there. Just bits and bobs, you know. <laughs> Hello. Wow, that was fast. You zipped right over here. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Petal. How are did you? Someone, did someone say tea? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you a fellow tea connoisseur? I like to drink a cup of now and then. More now than then. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm like my kind of folk. Would you like to try a little... Of my plant? Oh, that would be lovely. You're welcome to sit here in the gazebo with me for a while and I'll put on a pot. Great. Um. I'm going to give her a little of the purple savalier. The purple savalier. Remind our viewers what that does. Just gives you a very pleasant tingling sensation. Hmm. All right. So yeah, I could spend some time with Auntie Jaller. Um, have a have a cup of tea. And once it's brewed, she says, "Oh, I haven't seen tea this color in ages." Tell me, did you get some of this from the Savalier Wood? Sure did. I brought it with me. Oh my my my! You wouldn't have any to spare, would you? Of course. Oh, I could trade you for it. I created a new tea blend just the other day. Oh, what do you call it? I call it the Smoky Mongrel. Monkey Mongrel. <laughs> yes, it's quite a wicked little blend. Very pungent. But it reminds now me of a nice campfire in the middle of the woods, much like the one we're here with right now. Okay, uh, when we finish this, shall we, shall we brew a, a small pot? Well, I'll just put some some of the leaves in a little bag for you. You can you can take them on your travels. Make sure to steep it nice and long. Bring out the full flavor of the leaves. Keep it long, okay? I'll trade you this for some of the whatever the the Savalier wood mm -hmm. mushrooms, right? That you, you made this from. Um. Or was purple. It it's purple leaves. Yeah, purple, purple leaves. leaves. Yeah, I'll trade you some of this for some of that. Oh, how delightful. And yeah, so you share a pot of the tingly, tingly tea with her. I'm going to look up my notes on this just to make sure there are no side effects. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I wrote was that it tingles in a good way. I want a tea <laughs> that makes wild magic go off. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, you do need to make. Oh, yeah, that would be. Oh, what? She does have one uh -oh. of those. Yeah, she does have one of those. Oh, um. Yeah, go ahead and roll that uh, con con save. She go to. Bun, bun, bun. That is a 14. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> what about her? Oh yeah, she's totally fine too. Okay. Yeah, she's fine. Well, I'm um, so glad I met you. Thank you very I'm much. Fine. Yes, thank you. Thank you. This is very interesting. I would love to hear all about your history with... with blending teas and brewing potions and the like. Do you dabble in that as well? Yeah, starting to. We we get quite busy on the road. So oh, yes, not a lot of time imagine. to dabble and experiment. But I can quite imagine. But, you know, it is very important to have your own pursuits. You must make time for it, dearie. Do you sound a lot like my mother? <laughs> But she was a very she's a very wise woman as well. She sounds like a very wise woman indeed. Yes. Angela starts getting a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Angelica. <laughs> Can 
I kind of push back the tea and stretch and say, I better go meet up with my group. All right. Well, thank you very much for the tea and the conversation and do enjoy the Smoky Mongrel. Smoky Mongrel. I love the name Smoky Mongrel. <laughs> yes, it's been, that's kind of yeah. one of the most fun parts of it, isn't it? Coming up with the names. What do you call yeah. this, um, Savalier Wood blend that you have created? Uh, let's call it Memories of Mom. Oh, how lovely. How lovely indeed. Well, thank you for the visit, and I hope we can run into each other again sometime soon. Ta ta now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Bye. <laughs> yeah. All right, so meanwhile, um, Gothby is leading you mm -hmm. um, through the rest of the uh, homestead here, which the only place left is the front. Mm -hmm. And Gothby says, this is the command post. This is where, this is where Pops and Papa sleep. Don't steal anything oh, or no, I'll no. tell them. This is the big part of the house? Yeah. Yeah, it's the main room. It's um, basically got a bed and some, a few like weapons scattered around. A set of goblin sized chainmail is on like a stand on the corner. Um, there's like a couple of short bows, a spear and a shield, a couple of quivers, um, and then there's a wooden chest in the corner. But Gothby's like, I got mine. You come on then. That's the whole place. So you said that la that ladder was the up ladder. So yeah. what do you do to get down? We go down the up ladder. Oh. Or we jump off. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes Big Yo-Yo lets us slide down our head, but Pops doesn't like that very much. We could do it, though. Easter looks around for Your head. looks for a bit bumpy. Jump off. That's what makes it fun, though. I'll take your word for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're real, really brave. You can jump off of one of these canopies like a trampoline. That's real fun. Although we got in big trouble for doing that before. Little chest well, almost broke her arm. Dang. Well, I that don't was pretty get, bad. I don't want to get you into trouble. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. Also, I don't want to break my arm. So it usually goes down the up ladder. <laughs> All right, That's bye. <laughs> Okay, bye. Thanks, bye. Bye. Oh, wait, no. He, like, chases after you. Uh -huh. I want to pet your dragon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, her name's Riot, and Riot, like, snuffles up to him. He, like, giggles like a five-year-old does. Mm -hmm. Scratchy, scratchy. Giggle, giggle. Seems to be very pleased. <laughs> it's a pretty dragon. I like her. Where'd you get her? Um, my boss gave her to me. Oh, you have a really good boss, then. Yeah. You're really lucky. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks. Bye. 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 It's nice meeting you. He suddenly, like, gets super shy now that his job's done and, like, climbs <laughs> back up the ladder. <laughs> okay, bye. I'm going back to the campfire. All right. Whoops. All right. And put my respite. Um, Angelica. Yes. Um, as you guys are coming back from Big Yu Yo, Irvin tries to wave you over. Okay. Surreptitiously. <laughs> Hello, Irvin. Hey, Angie. How's it going? I just had some really uh, lovely tea. Met a new lady who loves to brew tea as well. So yeah, pleasant afternoon. Afternoon? Oh. Evening? That's great. Yeah, oh, he looks up. I think it's getting on evening. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, listen. This dagger that we found. We, we found it, did we? Well, you found it. You found it. I'm not taking credit for that. Um, you still have it. 
right? It, you know I do. We practiced with it a lot. <laughs> of course, of course. I'm so um, the name that's written on it. Do you recall what it was? Uh, the Waste Walker. Right. First name right. Was, was a little bit different. She takes out the dagger and looks at it again. <coughs> Can you read it? Um, yes. <laughs> Cure Charlie. Cure Charlie, I think it was. Cure Charlie Waste Walker. Yes, Waste Walker. That's what I thought, and I was hoping I was right. Um, so there are a... There's a man and a woman over there by the bonfire, and they... Well... I happen to overhear them talking, and I believe they are also waste walkers. I wonder if they might have known this person, or perhaps have some information uh, about what happened. Well, they, do you want to introduce me? Uh, or let's go I, meet them if you haven't. I was hoping you could take care of it, and I'm going to go help Io set up our camp. If that's uh -huh. all right with you. I see. And I thought you were the charming one. Okay. Well, I am, but I have reason to believe that they may not um, like the look of me. Let's just say you'll get along better with them if I'm not there. Well, all right. Would you like me to meet you later? Tell you how it went? Well, Sure. That would be great. I mean, I don't have any skin in the game, really. I just thought you would like to know, considering that name has been a little bit of a question mark since we found the dagger fight. Right, of course. Um, oh, what is that, Io? And he, like, runs off <laughs> to go rejoin her. And you did not hear Io say anything. <laughs> well, I look at the dagger and I say, well, no skin off my neck. I mean, I really wasn't very good throwing it anyway. So she heads over to where he pointed out. Great. Um, yeah, so there are two humans, a man and a woman, who are sitting uh, next to the campfire. And they both have bowls of the uh, Macedon Corundle that they're eating. Um, and they are dressed in the... Um, same kind of uh what's the word i'm looking for kind of rugged um like hide armor um and it looks familiar like some of the other people that you saw um in the aftermath of the uh witch encounter was it where you found that that was oh with, with the, the like, um the rotting giant creature yeah 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 and there were like tons of uh corpses everywhere and you saw yeah. a lot of them were dressed kind of in this similar hide armor um so you can see these two people have the same kind of armor um and they've got some injuries and stuff too and they're kind of sitting with their heads together like speaking kind of urgently and hushed urgently in hushed tones um and as you approach, they both look up. Um, Hi, my name is Angelica Jacobson. Um, Hi, what's it to you? What do you want? Um, I'm just trying to have some dinner here. Been through enough for one lifetime. Oh, you guys look like you've been uh, pretty roughed up. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm pretty good at healing. They kind of look at each other. And the woman says, what will it cost us? Oh, nothing but your time. They kind of look at each other again. Well, we're not one to, to turn down free healing. That's... Don't mind saying so either. Okay. Angelica will spend... I mean, how bad did they look? Slightly roughed up. Like, I don't... They're not, like, on death store. Okay, so, like, a, a couple of first level? Yeah, sure. All right. She'll do it. Just to get it in, sure. I guess. Sure, sure, sure. 
And then, um, the cast one, two. So, do you need the number, or we'll just say I did it? No. no. Okay. And then she'll, to boot, hand them each a good berry. They, um, the walls that were up when you walked over, um, you can see them pretty much visibly coming down as you give them kindness after kindness. And finally, um, when you're done, they kind of, the woman kind of, um, looks at the man and looks at you and she says, I, I don't know what we did to earn this, but not like a healer to show up out of nowhere. I, I know what it's like. We've been walking through the same wastelands as you. We've had our share of troubles too. And if people can't help people, it's a fair patch. So, um, well, it's, it's not come to my attention that we came upon some unfortunate travelers that were just similarly to you. And we stumbled upon this among them. And it was uh, come to my attention that it may belong to someone one of you or someone that you may have known, she hands him the dagger. Um, they look at each other again and then the man takes it. Um, and he looks at it and hands it to the woman. She looks at it and then she looks up, uh, And her eyes are kind of glazing over a little bit. She says, wouldn't you know this was our father's? Oh no, it wasn't. Oh. We were there when the Udok attacked us and well, I have to say, she looks back at the dagger, runs her finger over the name and then looks back at you and says, It's not like most folk to offer kindness to a waste walker. I know our reputation. But I thank you all the same. Here. And she takes, she puts the dagger in her pouch and she grabs her great axe, or her battle axe, rather. She says, Please take it. I can't, you've offered us so much kindness already, and I, I can't accept this dagger without offering this in, as trade. Please. But uh, you must have further to go on your journey. I can't deprive you of your weapon. I have others, and we're going to stick with this caravan over here on the way back. Please. Oh, okay, well, then I won't insult your honor. I'd be happy to accept it. And thank you. This really... And... This really means the world to us. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, I wouldn't have thought uh, to offer it someone... Well, he didn't want me to mention it, probably, but he's a goofy guy. Anyway, um, I... Don't really know of your reputation. I I'm from far away, so you know, let's cons let's part friends. Well, as far as we're concerned, you're a friend of the Waste Walkers, and we'll make sure everyone knows it. What's your name? Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I introduced myself. I'm. Oh, Angelique you did. Dickinson. You did. You did. And <laughs> sorry. And I'm, I'm I'm Tyvek. Tyvek Waste Walker, and this is Mogra, my little brother. Well, it's uh, very pleasant to meet you, and I hope the rest of your journey bodes better than the past. Okay. I'm sorry about your father. And I, I hope to all the gods above, if they be listening, that you don't run into the same things we did. Well, we've got quite a journey ahead of us. Us too. So this break is just what we need to get our spirits back up, ready to move on again. 
for what lies ahead. Well, thank you. Venture. Thank you for it. Okay. Uh, do I see Ir Irvin, Irvon, Irvin anywhere? <laughs> Irvon. <laughs> um, Irvon Irvin... sounds much cooler. <laughs> Irvon. <laughs> Irvon. <laughs> Irvon. He puts a little accent over the A in his name and suddenly he's Irvon. Irvon. He's reinvented himself. Um, yeah, he's he's in the camp area um, helping Io and the rest of his group set up camp for the night. Um, I wonder if Irvon is re related at all to Pervon. <laughs> I thought of that. <laughs> I, I thought of that. I was going to mention that too. Yep. The world may never know. So, uh, you were right. Uh, the dagger actually wound up belonging to their father, but why do I get the feeling you already knew this? I couldn't tell you. You couldn't, but I'd like to know anyway. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> you can have advantage. Ooh. He likes you. Uh, well, I might not need it. Oh, nat 20! I got a 18! An 18 and then a nat 20, so that Jesus. turns it into a 27! Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> amazing. Oh, it's amazing. Alright, um... You can see visibly that his... Kind of the... the Mm, not smarmy, smarmy mask kind of crumbles away. Um, and he looks kind of around to see if anyone else is listening. And he kind of takes your shoulder and ushers you a little bit away from any prying ears. And he says, listen, Angie. He leans I in haven't... I don't like to talk about it because there is a certain reputation that I'm trying to strike from my path, if you will. Um, but I... I am also a waste walker. Born and raised. But, uh... Well, I've always hated being part of that clan, and I hate the name, so I don't use it. And but why? I've been on they my own since I was a teenager. People. I mean, uh, well, you know, they're most of them are not, though. That's oh, they're terrible. They would rather slit your throat than have a friendly conversation. They would steal from you before they would shake your hand well i must have it's gotten very lucky because look what she gave me after just i mean the minimal amount of kindness look what she gave me well you Wait, uh, it's invoked not... a debt didn't you with her it's how they work ah uh, i see but she didn't have to look i know I that mean... you like me and i know that you have had pleasant experiences <laughs> with other waste walkers, but just let me tell you, they are not good people, and you would do better to not trust them. And she rolls her eyes at that um, statement of his, but <laughs> okay, well, let's just say I'll have to take your word for it right now, because I don't know any others. But they seem like reasonable, reasonable folk. Just like you most of the time, and she kind of gives him an elbow jab, you know? Well, just don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay, she gives them Listen a cheesy, gr cheesy grin and says... <laughs> and I would appreciate if you don't tell the rest of them that that's where I'm from. Uh, I'm sure that your friends are all very reasonable, but um, I honestly don't... I don't know how folks like... Like Galsariad, for example, would react when they find out where I'm from. And I'd rather keep it that way. For now. 
Especially with so much at stake. Well, if your intentions are honorable and you're not planning to stab anyone in the back, like you say how horrible they are, I will keep your secret. But you have to look me in the eye right now and swear that you're a good person. Right now, I'll know if you're lying. He kind of gets that like twinkle in his eye again as he smiles at you and he takes your hand and he kisses it and he says, I'm the best of them, honey. I promise. She rolls her eyes again. <laughs> okay, your secret's safe for now. Don't slip up. I will do my best. Thank you. Okay. Go and rejoin my party. And then I say, look, guys. Who wants a battle axe? Oh, me. <laughs> it's a <laughs> plus one battle axe, by the way. Oh, wow. Here you go. To take it. What? Oh. <laughs> she probably Lock. meant to hit mute and hit <laughs> and call. Laugh, Melissa. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> gave away the battle ice, gave away her internet connection at the same time. Goodbye. Sorry. <laughs> I meant to mute, and I hit the wrong. That's we guessed. <laughs> well, I think Zof is the best person to have this battle axe. So, <laughs> well, we'll yeah. just look at. They'll have to take it from Easter. Look at both of them. Do either of you we even could know how to it. use a battle axe? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, the 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 end that's like a a sharp wedge, and yeah, you put your hand <laughs> here and here. And whoosh, and you, you, you swing. Can you roll a strength saving throw? Uh, yeah, saving throw. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, uh, I can't see Ange ever using a battle axe. That's a four. <laughs> so no, you no, try no. to Easter, swing it, it's like this <laughs> over your shoulder and. Uh -huh. The weight of it causes you to fall onto your backside. <laughs> I pick it up and roll an eight. <laughs> the weight of the axe for you, Zof, is so much that the momentum causes you to fall onto your face, <laughs> and the battle axe implants itself into the ground so in front of you. Bongs will just hold the battle axe. Like, maybe I'll just hold onto this while you guys practice. <laughs> All the weapons. I don't have any weapons. You need a weapon? No. You want to be up in, you know, with the beasties with me? No. <laughs> Easter, I've got a spare dagger if you want it. Um, Easter, I think, just mumbles something that you can't hear. <laughs> I'm going to take that to mean that you want this spare dagger and i'll run i already have three i have three daggers okay I was oh, lying okay the, I so you've, you've got more daggers than i do yes all right i see how it is <laughs> <laughs> all right but when you're ready then you can have it back but i'll just i'll just hold on all to right. it for you okay so no. yeah cast reduce gravity on that thing <sighs> <laughs> Bonks, I think we need to see. I think we need to see how this thing should. Wow, Macha just flew across the room and landed on my head. Um, I think we need to see a proper swing from this thing, <laughs> and I will adjust density on it to make it extra heavy, light. What am I supposed to do? Lighter or heavier? I, you're the you're the expert. This is your thing. We'll make it lighter. I'm just giving you guys the eye, clearly scheming in front of him. <laughs> and then, like, holding the axe and noticing the, the, the it's a lot lighter now. I'm like, uh huh. <laughs> Here, Zof. <so. laughs> no, I wanted to see, I wanted to see, uh, like, a practice. Like, I wanted to see how it's supposed to be done. Oh, I needed it, like, an it. example. Yeah, you, for you to do it. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, and um, I don't know if there's any suitable targets, but yeah, he can just take a practice swing in the air. Like, yeah, you just, you know, hold it like so, and you can do yeah, it with one an hand or two with hand. An attack with um, disadvantage. Okay. I got a 19 and a 19. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No problem. You're able uh, to hit your mark. Yeah, so he just does a perfectly executed wing. He's like, just like this. Zof just shrugs at Easter and shakes their head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, anything else you guys want to do at the camp tonight? Can't think of anything. Or anyone else you want to talk to. I think you've pretty much... There's like... Some of the um, caravanners are... They have goods for sale, but it's like... Oh, actually, maybe I want to talk to someone... One of the Aurora Watch folks around here. Mm-hmm. Okay. They're up, up north, right? In these little tents? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're all kind of lounging. Yep. I'll walk up and say, hey. Hello. I, uh, drow wearing the armor helmet mm -hmm. off. How can I help you? Just had curious, had a few questions. Sure. You folks stationed this? here, like, permanently? Like, you're the guards of the caravan stop? Oh, no. Well, we're just on patrol. Oh, okay. We're here until the next group comes through. You go down the road to Bazazan much? Yes. Yeah, we're headed that way too. Whatever for? Um, we need to check on something. Or check out something. There's a thing we need to do there. I see. Well, good luck to you. Mm -hmm. When we left it, it was quiet. I don't anticipate that would last very long. Yeah. Uh, anything we should be on the lookout for there or on the way there? Anything? None of us have made the trip before. Well. Then you're in for a treat crossing the barbed fields. It's a little bit rougher than the rest of the wastes. Great. It's the, uh... The scar of the calamity is what they call it. There are monsters of the like you'll never find anywhere else. Okay. I already Don't thought we were some bad stuff on the way here, but it sounds like that was just the tip of the iceberg. Yes. Where did you say you came from? Jigao. Oh, I see. It's not quite common for there to be much activity between here and Chikau, so that concerns me. What did you see? Oh, a bunch of dead bodies, uh, some caravans overturned, um, will the uh, Yes, I heard folks. about the Udak. Unfortunate. Um, nasty looking moorbounders ganging up on folks. Yes, that, that actually is quite common, unfortunately. They don't normally come close to the roads, though. Yeah. I see. Well... I mean, most of it was quiet. We just had a few spots of trouble here and there. I see. Well, you've done well to make it this far. I wish you luck through the barbed fields and onward to Bazozan. If you make it there, I wish you luck within the city as well. Any uh, you. messages you want me to pass on to anybody while we're there? No, but thank you for the offer. Yeah, all right. Thanks for the tips. Good night. Good night. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> Never. <laughs> all right. Do, 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 do. 
Okay. All right. Last call for silly things at the caravan stop or not so silly things. Conversations with people. Nope. No takers. Okay. Lost more food, but that's the same as we did before. <laughs> did you all have some of the corn dole? Uh, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah? yeah um, sure. Okay, you can all mark a long rest. I, I thought you were going to say you can all roll a <laughs> Roll a con save. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> you can each roll a uh, d10. Please? A nine, two, seven, two. Um, you can add that many temp hit points to your character. Oh, wow! For the next day. Nice. Also, Angelica. Yes. When you wake up, you feel. A little bit of um, you feel bolstered, a little healthier than normal. Um, you have, for some reason, been granted a charm of vitality. Which basically allows you to grant yourself the benefit of a potion of vitality as an action once. Wow, I just slept great. This place, the air here, it's awesome. Right, guys? Uh, I agree. I wish we didn't have to leave. I've heard from those soldiers over there that, like, the part coming in here was the easy part, and it just gets worse from here. Well, wow. Makes you wonder why they'd put the nation's capital over in that direction. Well, like Easter said, there's crazy people around here. Yeah. All right. As you all leave the caravan stop, it's a very short time before you exit the woods and you enter out into the barbed fields. This stretch of broken landscape is scattered with jagged rock, sunken craters, and scabrous hooked spires of glass and rock that jut out from the ground. It looks like a land scarred, and it has never recovered. Indeed, visually much more devastating than the rest of the wastes that you've come to get used to over the course of the last week. As you continue to follow the path, which I believe, if I can find my map, you are now following the hollowed path. I'm going to need... H-O-L-L yes. or H-A-L-L? -L? Hallowed, yeah, H-A-L-L. -L. Okay. Um, I believe that's where you're following. Maybe not. Oh, no, it's... Hmm? No, it's not the hallowed path. You can strike that from your memory. <laughs> this road is not named. Um, it is an anyway, easterly as road, you though. The unnamed path. follow the path eastward, easterly, uh, I'll <laughs> need one of you to roll a d8. I'll do it. Here's it's usually Nick's <laughs> job, right? Yep. I'll roll the same die I always do, and it'll turn out bad like it always does. A three like always, right? An eight this time. Oh, my. 
an eight. Okay. You pass most of the first day, like a few hours into the first day, uh, pretty peacefully. But after a while, as the sun is high in the sky, Angelica, I'm picking on you tonight. You, with your incredibly high perception compared to everyone else, see a cloud of dust being kicked up about half a mile down the road. And it's headed your direction. Okay. Guys, look at that. Uh, what am I looking at? What is it? I don't know. Something's coming this way. You see it? It's kind. Of, it's like it. I see smoke. Is it moving? Do we want to? Should we? Should we hide? Hide where? Either like gestures around or at like behind one of these barbs. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of us. We're gonna have to hide behind a lot of barbs. But yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Oops. Should we all make stealth checks? Yeah, you can do. Okay. Too many windows open. <laughs> you can also cast Pass Without a Trace on us. Wouldn't hurt. Some of us are not very sneaky. Okay, let's do it, because... I don't know. That what Easter said has me spooked. Uh Box is gonna use a charge of the necklace that can go invisible. How long does like that last? An hour. Okay. Uh assuming that, that thing is approaching and it'll be within less than an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But uh yeah, and then he'll just say, um I'm gonna walk ahead a little bit. If I can't see anything, and maybe warn you guys if possible. You sure? Yeah. All right, don't go too far. I won't. Okay. Are you also hiding? Yeah, I'll do a stealth check too. You walk behind. Okay. Did you do pass that trace? Yeah. You did. But okay. that only that <clears throat> only applies to you if you're within the radius. Oh, of so if Angelica. you leave. If you leave that radius, then you won't get the yeah, it's on us. 30 feet. Okay, I'm going to be outside that. But I get advantage, right? For being and, and it, yes. Sorry, All right. That? Well, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on a map so that you can position yourselves where you want to be. Yeah. Thank you for letting me put myself where Easter would be, which is all the way in the back. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course. Um, and you said this is coming from the east, right? Yes. Okay. Wow. I'll make a... We'll, we'll encapsulate it if it comes in the middle. Oh. Oh, I guess this is the barb that I'm hiding behind. Over here with Easter and Riot. Wait, get your own hiding places. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll hide behind this rock. You have to be by me, guys. Yeah, you have to be within 30 feet of oh. Angelica or you don't get right. the benefit. Yeah, That's, that's true. Okay. Where do you want to be? Let's go together. This, this is good. I'm, I'm within 30. Yeah. You also get a um, plus 10 bonus to dex checks. Oh, wow. Okay. Isn't it just a stealth? It, well, it says dexterity stealth checks. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. Sorry, I'm moving some stuff around. Ooh. 
Okay. All right. Did you guys roll your stealth checks? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. What What did you get? Well, Easter got a 19, and Riot got a dirty 20. And this is with Path Without a Trace. I didn't roll well, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Fox got a 22. With Angie's spell, I got a 25. Mm -hmm. I got a 28. Okay. All right. Okay, then... Where is my where are my notes? Okay, here we go. Um a few minutes pass. But after a few minutes, um a large group of humans mounted on bedraggled horses come riding through. They're led by a grizzled man who is on an imposing black war horse and he has six daggers stuffed into his belt that gleam in the sunlight twice as many as me he's with 10 other humans mounted on normal riding horses doesn't seem to have noticed you all. Are they wearing any insignias or anything that we might recognize? Make a perception check. Okay. Can any of us do that? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm not going to get a very high one. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 16, though. Yeah, but it beats me. I got a 14. Oh, I got an 18. I got a, wow. I got a 7. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I'm focused on hiding. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, you don't see any insignias or any uniform per se at all. Totally unmarked, just like Okay. Mhm. Mm Are they getting chased by something or is it just they're just plowing down this road? They are just coming down the road. They do seem to be looking out around for something, but it doesn't look like anything is chasing them. I'm content to just hunker down here and wait for them to pass, personally. Sure. Yeah, they sound like people we don't want to tangle with. Way too yeah, many daggers. I mean, you could make so an many insight daggers. check or something oh, what kind of check? as they go by. If you want to make an insight check to kind of discern the nature of these people, mm -hmm. um, it might be at disadvantage because they are riding by at quite a clip. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they you don't look like they're horsing around. You want to disadvantage? <laughs> yeah. Oh, insight. two seventeens, which is two dirty twenty. Wow. How do you keep doing that? I have no idea. Today's my lucky day, I guess. Way better than me at five. Yeah, Fox I got a nine. Just... Fox is just ready to go today. I can roll. Oh. Insight. Insight. Plus four. Ooh, I got a 23. There it is. Okay. Um, Angelica? And what did you get, Box? 20. A 20? Okay. And Box. Um, you can tell that basically just based on the look of the leader in particular, these are not good dudes. These are absolutely hoodlums, and they are up to no good out here. Are they just strictly following the path? Or are they like... I mean, they're following the road. They're yeah. Following the road. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, since Bonks is a little bit further away, I guess once he realizes this, he'll... Are we in, like, initiative? Can I just, like, walk back to everybody? Or, like, how do you want me it to do It depends on whether you want to... How do you want me to do this? 
<laughs> yeah. Depends on whether you want to wait for them to pass or whether you're going to walk while they're still within while you're still within their sight. Um, I guess I'll look back and move... see what everybody's doing first. Is okay. everyone just like yeah, I'm, hiding? I'm hug hunk down, hiding, hiding waiting. Okay, mm -hmm. then then I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. I can see they can see you. You guys can see each other from where you are. I would assume that you all know each other's hiding spots, so you'd be able well, to kind of. I'm invisible, which is why. Oh yeah, that's right. I was you like, can see them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, if they're gonna, if they're starting to like get up, I was gonna like go over there and be like, no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah. No, if no. you're invisible, then you can walk over there. Okay. If you want to, but they're they're hunkered so, down. Yeah. So while everyone's approaching, I'll get up kind of next to Zof, uh, and then I'll just be like, let's. Stay still and hide here. Yeah. Well, let them pass. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> roll a wisdom save to not get scared. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, no one who's up to any good has that many daggers. <laughs> yep. Exactly. All right. All right. Then, yeah, you just let them ride on past. Wonder how many names he has on his daggers and i wonder if any more waste walkers are on there mm -hmm. oh and yeah and there I they, go. they are there they go. Yeah, i didn't All see right. them fly by near yeah. away from the go on the map oh well i can throw them on the map if you want i, I kind of <laughs> want to see them yeah if you don't mind even if it's for a moment oh so they're still yeah, they are. Look at those are bad well dudes, they've man. passed but i'll just show you them for now as they like yeah, it's only now that they've passed that I wonder if uh, maybe we should have, I don't know, stepped in and done something to prevent them from doing bad things to other people down the road. If I don't we know. were part of the like Aurora Watch or the you know the peacekeepers, yeah, yeah look how many there are yeah. though. We are people. We don't want them doing yeah. bad stuff to us. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are strong people, and there are weaker people. I don't know. It was just a thought. It's probably silly. I don't think we should go looking for trouble. We have probably have plenty that will right. be waiting for right. us. That's that would be dumb. That would be dumb, right? Right. I agree. <laughs> right. But I mean, so I would. That... I'm not saying you're dumb. I'm just saying it's a bad idea. It was a noble thought, though. Very noble. So if just <laughs> kind of grimaces and rubs <clears throat> the back of their head with their hand. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Oh, there they're coming back. They're backing up. They're back. Oh, no, I just, I lost them because I put the horses in reverse. <laughs> I was like, oh no, I lost my token. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Blinkers. Okay, smart ass. Start going off. <laughs> You're like, out of roll here. initiative. Oh, roll man. initiative. They're okay. back. They heard amazing. you laughing. Uh, it's okay. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Uh, that was great. Okay. I imagine the All horses right. doing the thing that, like, the breath of the wild horses do when you're on like rough terrain <laughs> you've got to like <laughs> yeah you have to make them like trot all right roll yeah. a d8 uh-oh this is a bad one all right this is a three roll again okay oh, yeah, no, we've, done, we've, done, we've, done a <laughs> we've done a bunch of these at this point a seven roll again we had okay. a seven too yeah a seven roll again okay okay <laughs> Six. That's perfect. That's the one I wanted you to roll. No. <laughs> roll again. Roll again. Just, Hurry. Roll again. Quick. Just give it. To, just give that one to us then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was considering it. <laughs> okay. This is actually great. <laughs> that night, you continue. You continue along the path until evening. You set up camp. Is there anything you want to do? at camp before you go to bed for the night. Can we try the the new tea? Nah, we'll I, save it for I'll, a special I'll occasion. I'll go back because I know for a fact I'm not a fan of smoky teas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll save it for a special occasion. Does Bonks do his weapon ritual? Yeah, I think he still does that. <clears throat> well, in deep consideration from what Dermot was telling him the other night, he's like, well, maybe I'll give a couple more tries. Easter right. is like but now he has a new there. weapon, too. 
Oh, yeah, like Easter's over there, like with Bonks, like sort of making fun of him, like, "Oh, maybe your shiny new axe will do the trick." Oh, oh. if it doesn't work, I have these daggers you can try. <laughs> why don't you take all? Why don't you take all my weapons? <laughs> I think I have enough weapons. Probably, I don't know. Maybe I should. Bonks, what is it you're trying to accomplish here? Well, you, you've been doing this every night. But I still don't really understand what you're trying to do. So I've tried doing it alphabetically. I've tried doing based off of usage, and I've tried doing this based off of, and he just like kind of just goes on for like each right. night. Or it's a scientific night. method, but like, what result are you hoping to accomplish? Um, kind of with like a frustrated look. He's like, I'm just trying to. Talk to have another conversation with my ancestors again. I don't really know how to do it. You know, they come to us in our time of need in battle, but that's kind of a certain, I don't know, a certain feeling or something, and it's it feels a little natural. But like any other time when it's calm and we have time to discuss things, you know, this is kind of, I'm just trying to try something. But I guess I understand what do you what do you want what do your ancestors know that you're hoping that they can tell you? I, I Well, I mean my ancestor was the one of the main reasons why I left my village. I don't know if I mentioned that before or not. And so it was kind of through their um uh, not necessarily, maybe not encouragement that I was able to go on this journey in the first place. And so I'd like to believe that I could rely on them a little bit more as the journey progresses for checkpoints or, you know, a lot of religions look towards their look for guidance. Um, uh, you know, either regularly or in, in times of need or, or for whatever. And this is kind of, you know, me trying to also seek some of that spiritual, you know, know-how from them. As Bonks kind of flounders through that, Zof smiles <laughs> and then starts to nod along. And at the end of that whole spiel, Zof says... I, I think I understand now. You're feeling lost. Yeah. Right? Well, that's a feeling I understand. Well, I don't know if it'll help, but if you want, I can help you try different combinations of weapon circles. I don't know if this is ever going to work. I'm kind of losing hope. We got to keep trying. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> I mean, we can try. We can try a few more times. I just feel like I've been on this... We've been doing great things with the, uh, you know, four of us. And um, I feel like with my own... Uh, on my own journey, we ha I haven't really figured anything out yet. Every single time I pick up another book and look into these religions and other things, I don't really find the connections I'm looking for too much. So I'm not really sure where to look next that's kind of what I'm trying to do but yeah I mean if you think this is a good enough idea we can keep trying combinations um, have you ever tried the same combination twice in two nights oh, Cause, like, what if it has to do with like the phase of the moon oh, or you're right there's so many or the, or the length of the day or something like that yeah there's there's so many uh, variables here do you uh, want do you want a trademarked Zof silver lining Sure. Well, it sounds to me like your ancestor gave you some advice at a crucial time and set you on a path. And, you know, he always comes out when we're in a pinch, in a fight, you know? Yeah, maybe things Your ancestor are comes to you w when you need him. And the fact that he's not appearing now means, to me, maybe you're on the right path for now. 
might seem a bit winding and you might not be able to see where you're heading, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. You're probably right. I, um, I don't know. I feel like that's, that's probably the correct thing. I, any sort of confirmation of that would be really nice. It's just given the, all the ground we've covered and all the places we visited, I thought I would find something, right? Something a little bit more tangible. I mean, we're somewhat close to where I came from at this point. I'm like, well, it'd be great if I had something now to go back with, but I don't. And I don't know when we're going to be back here. And so I'm getting a little antsy. Uh, Zof sits down and um, thinks for a second and says, do you have any questions that your ancestors could answer with a yes or a no? Just a simple binary question. Yeah, sure. I'm sure I can think of something. Right. Okay, so next time Tolknath shows up while we're fighting, what we need to do is try and establish a, you know, a simple yes-no system. And then maybe, <laughs> while he's harassing our enemies, we can get, you know, like a blink once for yes, blink twice for no, and we'll shout questions, and maybe he can answer. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> it's something. Actually, we know he'll show that's up. Incredible. <laughs> I'm just trying to use the little bit of time we know we have yeah. him. I mean, I feel like we really have time to do that. We can try. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Okay. We can certainly try something. Um, all right. Does Tolkna speak common? Uh, when he's spoken to me, was it even, like, considered a language, okay? Or was it just, like, or was it just, like, mental? These are not the questions Kay thought she was going to be answering tonight. <laughs> yeah. No, he, um... Did he just speak the language as I speak? I call it that. Well, answer me this. Yeah. What languages do, you, do the rest of your village speak? Does the rest of your village members speak not common? Draconic. But they probably speak goblin and common. Yeah, then he probably speaks to you either in common or in yeah. goblin. Whichever you would feel is your mother tongue. Okay, so yeah. yeah. I think that we could try and pose some questions in common. Sure. Yeah, I'm up for it. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll think of a few questions. That works. Is going to be very interesting. If it doesn't work, I'll th I'll th I'll think of something else. <laughs> Consider me on the case. I'm going to come up with a solution. Well, uh, for this. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, we'll uh, keep trying. So keep let me everyone. get this straight. You want to pester your ancestor who's pestering your foes while he's pestering your foes. Yes. Okay. Crazier things have happened. Probably. If you if you punched me, could you summon Tolknath to harass We're me? We're not going to punch you. <laughs> okay. He well, still puts her fist down. <laughs> but I guess yes, maybe. But we're not going to do that. All right. Well, I'm open to it. If this other plan fails, mm. we can try it. We'll put that one for pretty far down the list. I though. can survive oh. one punch. It's oh, not. Oh. It's not. We nobody thinks that you can't survive one punch. It's just that Tolknath shows up when Bonx is in serious trouble, and I don't think when he's going to be in serious him, trouble fighting you. Yeah, I don't think I could do it. <laughs> not but what if Ange turns it. into into a it's, scary monster? If you can convince me at some point that you're actually <laughs> a scary monster and not Angelica, then. Maybe you'll get a punch. I know. I Zof turn cute, me... everything, because it turns blue, right? I and can't purring. help it. Zof makes the I have a plan eyes at Angelica. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. What have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for your concern, everyone. We can keep trying this if you really want to, but I'm not. I'm not really convinced after this long that it's going to get me an, an audience with my, my ancestors. 
Uh, fair enough. Well, let's at least try using all of Easter's daggers. <laughs> Easter. Easter, is that okay? Be careful using yeah. daggers. But I want them back, and I want my axe back, too. You can, sure. Okay. I already Easter. named the axe, too. <laughs> Easter tosses her daggers on the ground. Okay. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try these in alphabetical order again. All right. You take some time helping Bonks. Is that what a six was when you rolled the dead? <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, definitely not. The four of you work together to help Bonks set up this circle of weapons. It's a quiet, clear night. The two moons of Exandria are up shining in the sky. The smaller moon, Ruidus, is only just a crescent tonight. Where Katha is full and bright. Suddenly, the wind picks up around you. And the Air seems to turn red, ominous. You look up and what was once a slim crescent of the red moon is now full and flaring with a bright red light. And all of you feel as if sickness is overtaking you. You're each inflicted with Brutus's curse. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. Thank you all for tuning in to watch. We'll pick up there next week for the finale. Good night.